At the core, Pokemon Sword and Shield is a single player game. However, you and your buddies can help out each other get a 100% complete Pokedex. Trading is one way to catch them all. Two ways to trade here. You can do it locally or you can also connect to the internet if you have an online membership. Let's look at a local connection first. To demonstrate this, I have two consoles, a Switch Lite running Pokemon Sword and a Switch running Pokemon Shield. While roaming the Gala regions, press the Y button to access the trade menu. Two trading options here, Link Trade and Surprise Trade. Let's look at Link Trade first. Select the Pokemon you want to trade on both consoles. You see exactly what you're sending and what you're getting back. And you select yes to agree to the trade. Once you do that, there's this nice animation that plays. and the trade is complete. Now, keep in mind, this is a great way to complete your Pokedex, but if you actually try battling those Pokemon that you haven't caught yourself, they don't behave so well in battle. And each Pokemon will remember its original master. So if I trade back those Pokemon, you can see these welcome back notes that pop up. The second option is surprise trade. With this one, as its name suggests, what you're getting back is a surprise. So that's local trading. If you don't have any local friends at play, you can connect to Nintendo Online and trade with other trainers around the world. So let's check that out. And in this case, I'm actually gonna do a surprise trade. Don't think you're gonna get lucky here and get something super rare. The online system actually matches you up with a fair trade. So you're gonna get back a Pokemon of about the same level. So that's all I got for today. Make sure you leave your comments below on what you think of the game so far. 